Today I was listening to Kevin Hart in a Terry Gross interview on Fresh Air. And I've always liked Terry Gross and her questions, but I felt offended on the part of artists and comedians when she pressed Kevin Hart on what could only be assumed to be her interpretation of his misunderstanding the nature of offensive jokes. This is going to be an unpopular thing that I say, but when you have love in your heart and understanding of how the universe works, when you understand people, you accept things that are uncomfortable, even if you don't want to. And here's something I want Terry Gross to accept and other people who are politically correct. Everything is possibly funny. The worst tragedies are possibly funny. The rudest offenses are possibly funny. The most gross violations of social norms are possibly funny. It all depends on a person's ignorant or advanced understanding of what funny is. Funny is not something that's politically correct, although many want it to be. Funny is something that you experience a visceral reaction to, and it's personal. And it doesn't have to be politically, religiously, or societally aligned according to norms. That's not to say that we shouldn't avoid insulting people. But comedy is different. Comedy is a redistribution and composition of ideas presented to other people, showing, like a painting or a song or a sculpture or a work of architecture or music, that a certain arrangement of thoughts came into one's head and it made us laugh. And then you share it with other people and they can laugh or not laugh. It's not a choice. It's either funny or it isn't. And if it's funny among most good-natured people, even if it's about something that is socially offensive, it doesn't mean that the laugh comes from a place of appreciating offense. And it doesn't mean that the joke was made to offend. It means that some ironic truth was recognized in the brain and it has nothing to do with personal health mental health or physical. It has to do with truth to the receiver of the art. So pressing Mr. Hart wasn't necessarily wrong because you obviously didn't know what you were doing. But once you understand what I'm saying, you will realize you were wrong and then you shouldn't do it ever again to another artist, especially an artist who probably slightly disingenuously for the sake of his career had to bow to ignorance and apologize for his jokes of a period 10 years prior. And now to defend that, I will go into a particular minutia oriented aspect of humor, gay jokes. Some of my friends and I in text messages still say to one another, Hey, that's gay. I have gay cousins. I love everyone. I have nothing against homosexual people or bisexual people or LGBT people. And making jokes like that among my friends within the vernacular of our personal relationships as heterosexuals is not homophobic. I'm not homophobic. It has to do with the latitude in which heterosexual men think of themselves. You could love the color blue and hate the color green and make fun of your friends who use the color green. It doesn't mean that you hate people who use the color green. It means you wouldn't want to use the color green coming from your artistic and color oriented point of view. No matter what you try to do, you can't say that I'm wrong about this because it's a personal, honest understanding of conscious reality. Men who are gay don't want to be gay, just as men who aren't gay don't want to be straight. Nobody wants to be something that they aren't unless they don't understand what they are or, or unless he or she doesn't understand what he or she is, okay? So it's a joke among guys that it's not a good thing to be something that you're not in this particular case and in the most prevalent case across cultures throughout history. People who aren't gay make jokes with those who aren't gay as well about being gay. No, it isn't a judgment that gay people are wrong. It's a judgment that being gay for me and my friends would feel wrong 
because of the orientation that we have. It's harmless. It's innocuous. And the only people who are going to argue with this are not philosophers, because my logic is sound. It is people who want to change the reality of our experience of consciousness. In my experience of consciousness, I don't think being gay is funny. But it would be funny for people who don't want to be gay. If you don't get that, you need to spend some time thinking. And so therefore, in the time when Kevin Hart made jokes about gays, I'm certain that he didn't have anything to say negatively about gays. It was about his experience of what it might be to be gay. It was about his experience about what it might be for his friends to be gay or his child to be gay. He can apologize for it now, but if it made people laugh then, right or wrong, it was real. And that's what comedy is about. It's about being real. Once you read a, re reach a state of understanding about how the universe works and what we are, once you're filled with love for all of that and for people, you don't take offense and you don't offer offense. And you don't think these things are wrong just because the body laughs at them. And by the way, that's what's happening. Your body recognizes that something is funny before you do. It's not a choice. So if you laugh, it isn't wrong. It's like being blamed for a fart or wanting to sing a song. It's visceral. Comedy is visceral. And it's one of the best checks of what your experience thinks is funny. And funny is just a word to describe a physical reaction of the diaphragm and the heart and the rest of the corpus. Thank you.